We are here with the president of the Avant-Garde Cultural Foundation, Stavros Kiriakidis. Thank you for being with us. It's a pleasure Thank being here. Um, Avant-Garde Cultural Foundation is teaming up with the Ministry of Education and Culture for a special project. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, absolutely. Um, it is a special project indeed. It's, it's yet another installation which uh, will be happening pretty soon in the city of Nicosia. Um, it's new, highly original, and it's interactive, which mm -hmm. means that uh, we are not placing the installation in the city for people to look at and admire, but we're actually inviting them to come down, join in, and participate. That way, completing the installation and, and forming it themselves. So um, it's highly interactive because uh, the installation itself won't be complete unless if someone actually uh, steps on it. And I'm saying steps on it because we are talking about four giant piano keyboards will, which will be placed on the floor and uh, anyone and everyone are welcome to step on and, and play with their feet and, and create music. This is not your first collaboration with the ministry. Um, can you talk a little bit about last year's uh, project? Yeah, well, not only is not the first collaboration with the ministry, but we've actually been working together with the Ministry of Education and Culture and the cultural services in particular for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, we've always been uh, close with the ministry and they have been very supportive over the years uh, in the projects uh, that we have, uh, have been organizing. Um, this time we went even a step further and the Ministry of Education and Culture have teamed up with us and we are co-organizing these projects. Um, last year, uh, we put together the Plenium Years installation, which was uh, 10 pianos decorated by Cypriot artists, and they were spread all over the city again. Uh, they were scattered in, in parks, shopping malls, streets and squares, and again, everyone was invited to make use of the pianos, um, sit and play something, or even stand next to someone playing and enjoy the music. Um, that lasted for 10 days, and an estimated 250,000 people took advantage of the installation, and, and they played on at least one of the pianos during that period, which is a huge number for the size of Cyprus. Do you think that this initiative with the big pianos will have the same response? Oh, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will, because um, if I judge, first of all, from the fact that um, we've only announced the project yesterday, mm -hmm. and we're already receiving tons of messages, you know, through social media or emails uh, or even SMS, uh, people are very enthusiastic about it and they can't wait to get their feet uh, mm -hmm. on the keyboards. Uh, but also, if one judges from the response that the big piano has been receiving since 1988 that it first came out. So we, we have 27 years of experience, let's say, and we know that people are eager to bring out the, the, the teenager they, they have within. So I'm sure the same will happen in Cyprus as well. It's worth mentioning that the creator of these ins instruments is the one who also created uh, the famous big piano from the 1980s movie that you just mentioned, uh, Tom Hanks, named uh, Big. And uh, these four big pianos are the exact replica of that uh, That's keyboard. That's correct. We are not talking about imitation, we are mm -hmm. not talking about um, uh, copying. Uh, an idea, but we have actually contacted the same maker of the exact big piano that was used in the 1988 movie mm -hmm. Big. Uh, Tom Hanks who was uh, starring in that movie. He was actually nominated for a, an Oscar for a leading role uh, in that movie. Um, and the scene where Tom Hanks plays on the piano with Robert Loggia, mm -hmm. uh, it's very iconic. I, I, I think it must be uh, the one scene that everybody remembers from that movie. Mm -hmm. So we, we came into contact with the keyboards manufacturer. He's a brilliant scientist, he's an inventor. So we're not talking about a commercial product because it never came out in the market as such. Uh, and to this day, only a limited number of big pianos has been produced for very, very special occasions. 
Uh, and we are very lucky that uh, the creator of the big piano has agreed to produce these instruments uh, specifically for us, and they came directly from America to Nicosia for this project. And Nicosia will be the first and only city that will have more than one of yep. these big pianos. Yep, that's how it goes. Um, we were the only ones to order more than one big piano okay. um, for the reason of this installation. So we are not confining a big piano um, to a limited space, but we're actually bringing them out um, to open areas like the City Plaza or, or the um, Strobolos Cultural Center where people um, can enjoy them and, and, and they can um, use the big piano as part of their everyday life. You know, you, you, you go down to the mall, why not play a tune between one shop and another? I know you are one of the best uh, piano technicians in the island. Can we talk uh, about the technical aspects of these um, computer-generated uh, instruments? Well, uh, well, thank you for the compliment, first of all. But, okay, the big piano may look like a toy, but it's actually, like you very well said, a computer-generated, uh, a high-tech musical instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, we are talking about um, something which actually has the means of producing music, and working with a person who's um, uh, stepping on it. Uh, it can do so much more than just reproduce music for its, from its keys. Um, so when used correctly, the big piano can actually promote music. And um, the foundation intends to explore the possibilities of the big piano to its utmost. And um, can you tell us the location where the public will be able to go and visit this and interact with this? Yeah. Um, first of all, let me just say that the installation will last for 13 days mm -hmm. uh, between the 12th and the 24th of December. It's the festive season. It's the best period of the year when uh, families get together and, and they go downtown and they have fun and uh, nobody's chasing them. They don't look at the time. Um, apparently they have more time free than any other time of the year. So uh, we are taking advantage of, of this festive period um, and it will go until Christmas Eve. Uh, so one may find a big piano if they go to the Mall of Cyprus, the Mall of Engomi, the City Plaza and the Strobolos Cultural Center. And finally, Art in general, we see, we've seen through the years that can be a mean that um, inspire and encourage people. And we are currently living uh, difficult times dealing with conflicts, economical and uh, social crisis. What are your hopes that uh, this cultural interactive installation will achieve in times such as this? Well, actually, if I were to answer this question, I would say, um, I'm not hoping, I am certain, uh, that we will see people working together. We will see people cooperating. We have seen it in the past. So it's not an expectation or, or, or a hope. Um, I would say it's certainty. Um, during the Play Me I'm Yours project, we have received um, hundreds of messages. Um, from people of all ages, from young children age, three or four, who were sending us drawings with a big heart saying thank you, uh, or you know their idea of a keyboard in the streets, um, to professional musicians um, who created music in the streets in an urban environment, everybody just saying how important uh, finding a piano in a street was for them. Uh, one of those messages was really, really moving because it read, and, and, and I hope I'm not uh, forgetting one of the, of the countries, but it said, we are here from Italy, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Alaska, Britain, Canada, Romania, uh, and we are all gathered around the piano. It's Wednesday the 24th of October and we are in Nicosia. Thank you for the music. And, and that goes to show you that at some point, something like, you know, it was 10 nationalities all together, 
And it's highly unlikely that it was only one person from each nationality. It was probably couples or families. Mm -hmm. So maybe something like, I don't know, 20 people standing around the piano, playing and having fun together. And then they realized that they came from different parts of the world. Maybe because the accent was different. So they, they started asking one another, you know, where do you come from? Well, I don't know, I'm from Pakistan. How about you? Well, I'm British, you know, I'm, I'm uh, Italian. And, and they decided to write it down and send it to us. Um, they didn't care about religion. They didn't care about skin color. All they cared about was that it was a Wednesday. They were Nicosia and they were enjoying themselves around the piano. So I think that this was the biggest service that the arts, music uh, can do to people. So I'm certain we will see uh, similar cases with the big piano. People will be dancing on its keys and they won't care who's the one dancing next to them. So uh, once again, I think that uh, music and of course the arts in their entirety um, show the way that uh, humanity, mankind should be going to. Nice. Thank you again, Mr. Kiriakidis. For Thank you for having me. Thank you.